In this tutorial, we will download the Vampire Software Package from GitHub and compile it so that you can then use it for doing atomistic simulations of magnetic materials. Okay. So we'll start with the terminal so that we can then uh, operate the commands we need to download the software. So to start with, um, I'm going to put a folder so that we can download the software into a subfolder in our home directory. So in this case, we'll use the Linux command make directory to get a folder called vampire and change it to that, like so. Okay, so the next step is to actually download the, um, the source code repository from GitHub using the git clone https go on slash slash github dot com slash richard dash evans slash vampire dot git and then we press a dot at the end which downloads that to our current working directory okay so that is now downloaded the source code into our current directory so if we type ls we can see all the files inside the, um, the folder. Okay, Vampire operates multiple different versions of the code so that you can then uh, have multiple development branches that you can then switch between. The default one is the master branch, which is the current latest release. Um, but typically what we want to use is actually the, the develop branch, which contains more features, um, but there may be a few small bugs that we haven't quite squashed yet. So to switch to the develop branch, we can then use git checkout develop, which will then switch to the develop branch of the code. In the next step, we will then compile the code um, to be, enable the creation of the binary. We're actually running on macOS, and so in this case, we need to use the LLVM compilers to compile the code. If you're running on Linux, then you would typically use um, G++. Okay, so to make the serial version of the code, we then type make serial dash LVM, uh, which then compiles the serial binary of the code. Uh, we also use an option minus J16 uh, to use 16 cores to actually compile the code. This computer doesn't actually have 16 cores, but um, uses hyperthreading, and so it's faster to then launch multiple threads. Okay, so at the end of, of the compilation process, um, we now have a binary of the code, which is vampire-serial, uh, which we can then run a test to make sure that it's compiled correctly. So dot slash vampire-serial will run the code and then produce some basic output for the standard test that's included. Okay. In this case, we'd simply run 10,000 uh, time steps for around 10,000 spins and takes about 10 seconds or so on a modern computer. Okay, so that's essentially how to compile a serial version of the code. If you're on Linux, then you would actually use just the standard make serial command, which will then default to the uh, GNU compilers. If you have an MPI library installed, then you can use that to compile the parallel version of the code. To compile the parallel version of the code, you then do make parallel dash LVM again because we're using the LVM compilers which are default on Mac. Okay, again we use uh, 16 cores to do the compilation to speed up the process. Now that we've compiled the parallel code, we can now run an example parallel calculation to see what the speed up is. So to run the parallel code, we can do MPI run minus NP4, which is the number of processes that we have. We also need a special option for Mac, which is dash dash oversubscribe, uh, because the default compilers in this case uh, don't uh, include the right number of slots in terms of the number of processes. So it's a special option for, um, for Mac. Okay, and then finally we can do our executable, which is now vampire-parallel. So this should be somewhat faster than our 12 seconds that it was for the serial binary.
Yeah. So as you can see, it's somewhat faster than uh, the, the um, serial version of the code. For different architectures, you may need to use uh, different compilers. So for example, if you have uh, the Cray compilers, then there are options within the make file to compile those versions of the code. Um, but in general, the either the straight GNU compiler collection or the LVM compilers will work in most cases.